In this video, we'll see how to create a function to manipulate date and time values. Specifically, we're going to take a start time and add a specified number of minutes to it to calculate the end time. This will be very useful in the context of our small family counseling practice that records appointments with a start time and then a duration in minutes. And so why don't we go ahead and take a quick look at the data. Here's a single appointment, appointment number 152. So we have appointment ID, counselor, client the appointment is for, where the room, the room where the counseling will take place, and then here we have the start time. So 2nd of June 2016 at 3.30 p.m. Duration of 55 minutes. So we'd like to be able to conveniently add the duration to the start time to figure out what the end time should be. And so to do that, we'll create a function. So we'll use the create or replace function statement, and we'll call our function add minutes. Now we're going to accept two parameters here. And so the first one will be a start time, and the type for that will be a date. So we're ex expecting a date and time to come in as the start time, just the same way that we have it stored in the start time column. We'll also bring in the duration as an integer, and that is our numeric value here. Next, we're going to go ahead and establish the return, the return type of this function, and that will be a date. So this function is going to return the type date. Now we're ready to declare the local variables that we'll need. I'm going to go ahead and declare two. I could get by with fewer, but let's go ahead and create a one that will allow us to calculate the size of a minute. Now the trouble is with Oracle is that anytime I add a number to a date, Oracle is going to assume that I'm adding days. And so if I want to add minutes, I've got to calculate minute-sized portions of a day. And so I'm going to use vminute to hold that value. So it'll be numeric, four decimal places, and four digits in total, and all of those will be to the right of the decimal point. And I will also calculate a variable to hold the new date that I'm calculating, and the type for that will be date. And I'm ready to begin the work of the function. And so I'm going to establish the value of a minute, the size of a minute. So name of my variable, it's assigned to, now I'll take one day, divide that by 24, that will give me hour sized portions of a day, and then I'll divide that by 60, which will give me minute sized portions of a day. And so that'll be a small number, that is how big a minute is, expressed in portions of a day. So now I'll go ahead and calculate my new date. It's going to be the old date plus the duration that was passed in, so however many minutes, in this case 55 minutes. But remember, if I just add that 55, Oracle's going to think I'm adding days, and so I have to scale those, that 55, down to be 55 minute sized portions of a day. And then I'm ready to return that value, and now that I've calculated it. And that's really all I need for this function. So I'll execute the create statement, and it creates the function. Now let's go ahead and see it in a couple of contexts. First one, I'll just use it with specifying some literal values. So we'll select the name of our function, add minutes, and we'll supply two parameters. One would be a starting date. And so here's a date literal that we have for the same one that we have for Leslie's appointment over here on the second. And we'll also send in 55 minutes. We'll select that from, uh, oh, we'll give it a time as uh, an end time, and we'll select that from dual. That should allow us to see the result of that function where we're specifying these literal values. And so it tells me that given a start time of 3.30 on June 2nd, and a duration of 55 minutes, the end time will be 425 on that same day. Now this can really be handy if we use it in a query. So let's suppose that what I want to see is, for a particular counselor, I want to see all of the start times and end times that they have, for a given date range or just in general. Then we'll select the columns that we want, the counselor, start time, and now we want the end time. So to calculate the end time, we're going to call our add minutes function. We'll pass it the start time, and we'll pass it the duration. 
And then we'll give that column a name. We'll call that the end time. And we'll select this from the appointment table. And we'll choose a particular counselor. And we'll go ahead and order by the start time. And that should now produce the list of start times and end times for that appointment, those appointments, sorted chronologically. So that's how we create and use a function that manipulates a date.